वी आर ऑन यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एरिजोना कैंपस वॉट इज लाइक टिपिकल कॉस्ट ऑफ लिविंग यू के नॉट सेलेक्ट एनी थिंग इन दर्स्ट सेमेस्टर What's up everyone welcome back to the channel we are on University of Arizona campus we have Harini with us thank you so much for showing us around like what do you do and fun stuff about I'm doing masters in management information system I'm from Tamil Nadu India and this is my second semester here do you like it so far I'm loving it okay where are we right now so we are at the old main this hmm. is like the oldest building in the university so this is where you will finally end up coming to get your graduation photos done and i heard the history was that this building was the first building hmm. and then rest all the building yeah. came around it yeah. and so this is also the heart of the yes. campus and then we're going to go around in different buildings cool all right let's do it Hi right, Harini where are we right now feels like a lot of stadiums around me yes uh, we are in the sports center and we have the football stadium right there okay and what happens do, do you like people go watch sports yes uh, the football matches are pretty popular and i have worked in almost all of these buildings as a you part of you worked in this yes. uh, like what what what's your on campus uh, job i'm working in the student union for the arizona catering service so we have catering events and we supply food to all of these buildings so we mm. come and work here in these buildings all right where are we going to head now We are going to the library. The dome you see right over there is the planetarium and it it has pretty interesting stuff like the solar system and interesting quizzes and puzzles, aquariums and things you can go and explore with your friends. Do you spend time here? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the equipment. Okay, okay. Because we have our laptops so we don't refer to books anymore. Wait, wait, wait. Now this is interesting. Uh, laptop i know you mentioned it to me but i didn't understand until you said it mm -hmm. uh what do you mean by like you can rent out the laptop for entire masters uh, you like can... macbook yeah mac pc wow. microsoft surface pro so ipads so someone who's watching this mm -hmm. and planning to come to la they don't really have to buy a laptop they can come here get a fancy macbook for entire masters yes. and then they can just renew the laptop and it's not just the laptops we can get ipads iphone charger hdmi plugs so any external monitors projectors oh wow so if you're interested in photography maybe dslrs you have external monitors yeah. from here yeah and you've been using it for last 8 yes, months it has been very useful for application process because it makes it very easier to look That's, at two screens at the same time and that is so useful yeah. uh, right if you're coming to alar this might be one of the reason before we move on to the next part of the campus i want to quickly talk about something you are going to absolutely need it once you are in united states that is sending money back to your parents in your home country which is india for me at least uh, maybe you want to send money to your brothers and cousins uh, to surprise them for birthday party or your girlfriend or boyfriend for valentines gift and all of that you will want to send money because you'll be making money on campus through part time or internship or full time job right now the process for me is that i have to use a third party the app and then give them my bank details then i have to get the bank details for the person who i'm sending the money and put all of that and do the transaction sometimes it takes few minutes or sometimes it takes few days because they are doing the bank verification and maybe there is bank holidays business days and all of that but we have solution for this hassle and a conversion process which is unplex who's also sponsoring this video thank you for sponsoring and giving us the free campus too for all the people who are watching it they have come up with a solution which is sending money through what WhatsApp which is mind blowing just you're using WhatsApp you don't have to do the downloading and the registration process is super simple i'm going to leave the link in the description you can just go and register it's free of cost you don't have to pay anything you only pay when you make the transaction so that's super cool and when you do make the transaction the conversion rates are the best and competitive in the market plus the receiver when they get the money they can receive the money in their bank or they can receive the money in the gift cards for their favorite brands which they have partnered with and they are powered by Visa which you see it on the debit card and credit card which means that security is going to be top notch truly believe this is going to be game changing so i'll leave the link in the description highly recommend you to go check it out you don't have to pay anything so register for free and then once you start using the app you can do it very very simple and easy to use i'm going to start sending money it is super cool again link in the description check it out and now i will let you enjoy the campus tour we are still at the library right here is the library it's close because it's sunday she's also amrita saying hi 
hi to my audience. Hi. And, uh, what do you do? Um, so I'm doing masters in data science uh, mm. from the School of Information. Nice. Um, and you spend a lot of time in library? Yeah, we usually have like group projects and assignments to work on. Okay. Um, so the the group projects things we do it in the library together. Very nice. And do you <laughs> like it? Yes. Would you recommend students to come? Absolutely. Feel like I'm in a better place. Um, mm. The faculty. In, in what ways? Yes, yeah, so I think the faculty here is really nice. Like. Uh, for example, um, listen, I need to do something to enhance my profile, please guide me. And they are like so sweet, they are always like, yeah, mm, please come. So they are giving like a special yeah, attention. Yeah, right. Good environment, I would say, okay. altogether. Yeah. All right. Also, she is the roommate of Harini. Uh, thank, thank you for you. saying hi. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> Harini is back here with us. We are, where are we? We are still at the main library. Main library, but this is like Bear Down. What does Bear Down mean? Uh, this is the mascot and the tagline for University of Arizona. Okay, got it. And what all, like you spend time in main library sometimes? Uh, not really, but I see uh, a lot of other students spending time because we have like business rooms at LR mm. and we do our project meetings in LR because mm. we have all the setup there as well and we don't have to walk in here. But a lot of other departments find it very useful and also we can borrow the technology and we have like silent study rooms or group study rooms which we can so, yeah, and uh, we also have uh, like conference room, and we can attend interviews from there. And we have boards, okay. projectors, and yeah. all the necessary equipment. That's awesome. So we are at the student union food court. So right behind me is the Indian restaurant called Saffron Bites, and we have other restaurants like Panda Express, Papa John's Pizza, IQ Fresh, Chick Fil A, etc. And, and do you work here? Yeah, I work at the student union, so I do get a 40% discount on all these restaurants. Nah. We got out of one of the food court places yeah. and this is still the student union. Yes. Where are we? I see the bookstore here. Yeah, we are right in front of the bookstore and it is also part of the student union. I regularly buy stuff from the bookstore because we get a 40% employee discount here as so well. So if I buy something, I can still use your discount? Uh, it's on specific days. It's not every day. So they'll send out an email saying okay. that we have the employee discount today Got and we can go in and get it. Okay, okay, cool. One of the other things which you were mm. mentioning, which is also unique, which is that you can rent out the clothes, like the professional clothes. It's not exactly rent out, you can have it forever. Oh, wow. Yeah. So like if I don't have a blazer mm -hmm. or something, yes. I can just go and get it. Where, how do I get it? So there are specific timings in which the campus closet opens. So you can go in and see what you like, fit, try to fit it and find the best for you and have it. So it's based on donations. So it's still in good condition. They don't give out like bad clothes. Uh, you'll find a lot of professional clothes oh, here. That's awesome. So it's called campus closet. Yes. All right. If you're coming to Eller or University of Arizona, campus closet and if you don't have clothes you can just go get from for free we are now inside Heller building and it feels very nice because it's, it was very hot i don't know how you guys do in this arizona heat i'm already exhausted but uh, we're gonna do some talking points where like i want to start with the cost of uh, mm -hmm. education and cost of living so let's start with like what is the total tuition fee so the total tuition fee depends every batch for our batch the total i-20 cost was around 68,000. 68,000. Yes, that's, that's for insane. only one year that's for 16 months for 16 months okay yes. all right three semesters okay and so you think that is i mean i know usually the i-20 amount is uh, considering the mm -hmm. living cost so yeah. do you still think that you it is going to cost sixty-eight thousand? or yes it might because they always consider living cost for a private bedroom so it depends on what you prefer for your living so it's safe to have that sixty-eight thousand. okay if you plan to mm -hmm. study in eller uh, for yes. mis program it will cost you roughly yes. sixty to seventy thousand yes, dollars exactly. that will include cost of living yeah. okay so this i know this is a bit costlier than other universities but it's worth it and it's a business school degree so you get to learn tech and the business side both yeah in the same and degree. obviously it's a very very well known yes. program you can like obviously mm -hmm. get into business analyst role because yeah. uh, you're going to be in consulting mm -hmm. roles uh, so business analyst data analyst product management project management program management consulting roles so you can pretty much get into yeah. any spectrum of tech plus management yeah. roles 
And if you want to become more tech side, like data analytics, data engineer, you can do that as well. Yes. And like one of the things which uh, I know I'm comparing with mm -hmm. ASU because like mm -hmm. I just did. Uh, we always get compared to ASU. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but like one of the things they were complaining is that they had to struggle to wake up every single like semester. They have to wake up at five in the morning, four mm -hmm. in the morning to register for the classes because they, there's so many students competing. Is that the same problem for you uh, guys? Or it's no? not five a.m., but it's six a.m. It's six. still waking up early. <laughs> so it's first come first serve basis. So you won't find it a struggle in the first and the second semester, but uh, it's all electives in the third semester. Mm. So you will have to wake up early if you want like core courses like project management or data visualization. If you really want it, you can still go and talk to the advisors mm. and see how you can take it forward. Mm. And what about the course structure? Like uh, how many core courses and electives can you take? So you need around 30 to 35 or 37 credits to graduate. And the first semester is fixed. You cannot select anything in the first semester. And you will have a slightly advanced version of business communication in the second semester, which is the consulting project. Mm -hmm. So whatever you see here are the consulting sponsors. Mm -hmm. So we get sponsored by these companies to do a real life project. So we are student consultants and we get to work with the clients real time. Wow, that is so cool. I love whenever universities mm. do that, like where they give you like real life uh, experience. So mm. versus just here's an assignment and do it and your professor is grading it. So that's kind of cool. Uh, and I know, so, sorry, get, getting back to the cost of living mm. part, what is like typical cost of living, like where you live and uh, rent and eating food and everything? So mostly all the MIS or the Indian students prefer living at two apartments, which is U at Park and Entrada. Mm. So you get a private room with a private bath uh, mm. in Entrada and with a shared bath at U at Park and with all the utilities and basic amenities, which will be around 650 if you book it early. And it depends on the season as well. Uh, but I live at Campus Crossing, so it is cheaper because it's a furnished shared apartment. Mm. So it's already set to be shared. So I pay 340 and then the electricity bill comes around 70 which is for the three of us. So mm. it we divide that and I have also taken a renter's insurance from Certainly that is for $7. Mm. So I can manage all this within 400 and because we have the campus pantry, I get milk, eggs, bread, and uh, canned uh, vegetables, everything from the pantry. So I don't have to spend that much on groceries. So that $100 cap within the 500 let so roughly a, anywhere you would say 400 to five. 700 if they live in the yes. other side. If they live in the other side, it's 700 just for the rent and then they have to think oh, about gotcha, so. the... Right, but for you it's like 400 yeah. to 600, that's yes. like the max. So. Yes. But people don't usually share their rooms in Tucson because it's not, the cost of living is not that high here ah, as so compared to other cities. just city. private yeah. room, okay. And so 400 to 500, do you think you can cover all of that with your on-campus jobs? Yes, uh, I'm doing, I'm working at the student union and it's around, uh, it, it is minimum wage, it's $13.5 mm. uh, with taxes and all that. So I'm able to manage it, but if you opt for a private uh, room, then you might have to work the whole 20 hours to be able to cover it, but mm. I'm able to cover it. Even uh, on a busy schedule, if I work for just 10 hours, I'm still able to cover my living cost. Oh, so if you work 20 hours, then you will like be more additional than savings yeah. for yes. you. That's awesome. So, and then how easy it is to get on campus job? Uh, it's not very easy, but definitely easier than other universities because the crowd is less here and I've got like two part-time jobs and I dropped one and I'm just working for one. But I know friends in other universities, even after the final, till the final semester, they weren't able to find a part-time job at all. Mm. So they had to take out their living expense from their student loan. Mm. So. Yeah. That's one ad advantage of choosing a university that has like very less batch size. And what about what about teaching assistant, RA, graders, like are that also available? And if it is, then do they get scholarship? So yeah, they are available, but it will not be available to everyone. So our batch size increased. So in our batch, not everyone was able to get one. Mm. I haven't got one too, mm. but I'm hoping I'll get one for Makes the final sense. semester. Yeah. But if you get it, then there's nothing better than that because it'll 
drastically reduce your tuition fee and you get a monthly pay as well. So uh, you don't so have to do a part-time like job. Wave yeah. of tuition fees plus you get yes. salary on it. Yeah. So obviously Eller is known for their program and all that, but at the end of all this, when mm -hmm. people are choosing their universities, all they really care is like, will I get internship? <laughs> will I get full-time job? Mm -hmm. So how is the ROI? Like uh, do people end up getting internships and is it like people struggle with it? What's like the scenario? The ROI is great because I saw the previous batch students getting internships pretty, uh, like almost everyone is getting it. But for our batch, we have to blame the market. Yeah. It's not Eller, it's not us, right. it's not the faculty, it's just the market. Yeah, because um, for people who might be watching this next year, we mm -hmm. are right now filming in 2023 and there was the massive layoffs in the beginning of the year and the market there's like lots and lots of job shifting happening so they are not just comparing with uh, competing with their batchmates they are also competing with the like thousands batch. of yeah. people who got laid off uh, so, but in general if the market was okay like yeah the R roi is pretty good mm. and then even for the full time job like does people end up yeah, usually getting it's a, usually good yeah and if uh, do, does department help with get, help finding uh, jobs? As they well? uh, definitely help you with your resumes and your uh, interview preps mm -hmm. and all that. But at the end of the day, we have to apply, and applying is the key quality and quantity of applications. Right, right. Okay. Now, final question uh, for people who might be thinking like, okay, should I choose Eller or should I choose University of Arizona? Mm -hmm. Uh, why should they choose and why should they not choose? Okay, so it's a very diverse course. So I would not recommend this course to somebody who wants to be a hardcore techie, like if you want to do software development, like front end, back end, and all that Java, Python, and all that. So you won't find yourself here because this is not about it. But they have masters in computer science? Yeah, they do. And you are saying even if they want to do masters in computer science, they shouldn't. No, computer science is great. I'm talking about MIS. Okay, well, so yeah. someone who wants to do computer science, mm -hmm. they can. But this is you are giving specifically for oh, MIS. MIS yes. Okay, got it. So uh, we have something called the consulting, as I mentioned before, and a lot of people who are more prone towards tech don't enjoy doing consulting because it's. Hardcore management, presentation, PPTs, talking to the clients, <laughs> setting uh, requirements, and but no coding. <laughs> yeah, no coding. <laughs> That's why most people are here. But uh, the first semester is very technical, like I said, EDM. The second semester is very management and consulting based, and mm -hmm. the third semester is left to you to tailor. Okay, got it. So you would recommend, like Some, now that yeah. you have spent eight months mm -hmm. uh, going back in time. Like now you're choosing the college, would you still choose Eller or would you now I, choose I would else? definitely choose Eller because I find a balance here between tech and consulting. I, I'm someone who doesn't want to do hardcore coding or technical stuff. Hmm. So I find a good balance here and I'm liking it. Hmm. And why should they not choose it? Like are there any cons? Like uh, I would say there are not very technical courses other than EDM. Hmm. Like, hardcore Java or Python, it's okay. not there in MIS department, but you can always do into department and take it from the computer science department. Okay. And you can ask the ad faculty advisors for okay. So, and I would also like to mention that the Eller uh, department offers a program called a TLP, which is Technology Leadership Program, mm. which comes with uh, two degrees, which is MIS and MBA, which is a dual degree. It's very stressful, but, and, it's very competitive to get in. Like you have to separately apply to the MIS department and the MBA department and get approved by both the departments and then they will check your uh, background and everything and offer this to you. But if you're offered, it's tuition free less. Like you can study for free. Mm. There's nothing that you pay and you also get assistantship by default. So that will oh. cover your living expenses. So basically you're coming here for STEM approved, do you know? Yes, it is STEM approved. Oh, that is cool. So yes. yeah, basically mm -hmm. you get the entire master's, two master's degree yeah. for free, plus STEM OPT. And it's very competitive to get in. Not very competitive market. to get in, but if someone who wants to have mm -hmm. MBA plus MIS, yes. that is. Yes, definitely they can go for it. And mm -hmm. this is something I didn't know before coming here. Mm -hmm. And What's the one tip would you give to someone who's wanting to, like not sure about LR, or trying to come to United States, what's the one? 
So I would say that you have to streamline your applications based on your career goals. Like you have to do the research before applying and not after applying. So before applying, you can go to the website and see what courses each university is offering and will you be able to cope up with that? Does it align with your career goals? Mm. Does it match your uh, interest? Like will you be able to do that? And reach out to people in the university and ask about the course if you have any doubts. I feel that this research is important before applying and not after applying because that is when you have to worry about housing and yeah. transportation and stuff. Mm, okay. And final question, mm -hmm. is uh, $70,000 investment worth it? Definitely worth it. Wow, okay, cool. All right. Thank you for showing us around and thank you for sending all the clips. Uh, if you enjoyed this campus tour, there are several other campus tours which have filmed. You can see right here. You might be interested in them. But until our next one. Keep smiling and keep hustling. You got awesome every single day.